88000 for the DVD game player Nintendo GameCube Panasonic. Hey there, refurbers and scruffy-looking nerverters. Today we're going to check out a brand new location. And we're going to see a lot of great Japanese retro games from the expensive to the junk. So without further ado, let's get scruffy-looking. We have arrived at the Hard Off here in Kogasaki, Hard Off House Off. We're looking for retro game deals. Let's find them. Here we are. We got the music going. Everything is all gravy. Check out the display case. They do have uh, quite a few 3DSs, old and new 2DSs, LLs, 2200. We got uh, Sony. Sony 2000 PS Vitas for 1600 to 20,000. Switch lights for 13,000. And the box for 15,000. There is a core graphics. 13,000 for the core graphics and 30,000 for the Duo R. Duo R is kind of expensive there, but it says it works, so that's not bad, I guess. There's a Retro Freak back there too for 5,500. It's pretty good. Uh, some newer games. Oh, we've got an original. What are those? Game and Watch, fifteen thousand. Helmet. I've never heard of that game. Uh, Mickey Mouse for thirteen hundred. Oh, who does say yeah, sort of, That's a cute one. I've seen that before. Eleven thousand for that. What is this? Parachute. A parachute for fifteen thousand. We got Neo Geo Pocket Color, twenty-seven thousand. Wow, that's a bit overpriced. FDS game there. What is it? Uh, Psycho Caliber 2700. 2700. Uh, we got King of Fighters. What is it? 5500. 4500 for Garon. Silent Hill 2 for 7000. World Heroes Gorgeous for 6000. And we have an IFU unit down here for 16000 It's got the core graphics in it. doesn't have the CD, though. We've got Gogo Ackman 2 for 6000 in the box there. And uh, real battle action for... What is that? Is that the Neo, Neo Geo CD? Some pocket games there. Samurai Spirits for 8000 That's not bad. And, uh, what's that? Metal Slug, 11,000. Pretty good. Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in Time, 16,000. Actually, that's not a bad price for Turtles in Time. I want to say it was more than that at the last place I looked. Rockman X3 for 3,300. I don't know. That might be worth it. Oh, it doesn't have the manual again. Well, still might be good. There's Rockman 7 for 3,800. And Rockman Forte for 7,700, that's not bad. Super Metroid 2, Mother 2 for 5,500. Looks pretty clean. Uh, a little thousand yen more than the ones I saw last week. Gomon 3 for 3,300. Some interesting things here. I got the Game Boy, Super Game Boy 2, the 5,500 in the box. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. And a loose one for 4400 so a lot of good stuff here. They did have a, a couple Game Boy Light. There's a Game Boy Light for 19000 Wow, I can't believe how expensive Game Boy Colors and Pockets are. Really kind of overpriced in my opinion, but what can you do? They do have, ooh, Emerald, 4400 for Emerald. They do have Emerald here for 4400 100 yen less than the last place. Mother 1 and 2 for 3,300. 
I want to say that's a pretty good price for that. I usually see it for a lot more expensive than that. 5500 for Mother 3. Mother 3, that's a pretty good deal. Mother 2, 1 and 2 as well. Sagaya is 4400 That's a pretty good, um, what is that? Darius? Darius. It's called Sagaya on the Game Boy. Boku Dracula, 3800 It's unfortunate that it's way more expensive than the Famicom version. I think it was like 1500 at the last place. Sailor, Mar Sailor Moon R. And uh, Daikun Ogensan, 1650 That's a good one. I hear good things about it. Puznik, Super Mario Land, 4400 Some cool selections here, for sure. Uh, Street Fighter 2, 8250 In the box. Fire Emblem, 7700 What is this? Bandai Namco Aibizakiwi. Ivy the Kiwi for 13,000. Great strategy tank game. This is fun for the Game Boy Advance and the 3DS too. King of Fighters, 11,000. Wow. Rockman XA2 for 2,200. What is this? Load Runner, I think. And Zero, what's that called? Zero GX, 2,700 for that. What is this? Pokemon Card GB2. 8,800. Wow. Chorokyu for the GBA. Cute little racer there. Some Famicom Disk System games here. Um, quite overpriced in my opinion. Um, that one is a bit more reasonable, but a little bit overpriced there. For Doki Doki Panic. Oh, we got Game 10 Goku here without the insert for 2,700. This Aramana no Kiseki is a pretty good, fast at playing uh, platformer for the FDS. Pretty cool game. We got Radia Senki for 4,950 yen. I think that's the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, pretty good role playing game, but uh, I'm not a role player. So, Moai Kun is an interesting uh, platformer for the Famicom. Kaguya Hime Dances. I'll have to look into that one. I like the Japanese-ness of it all. Got Double Dragon. Oh, this is a weird, interesting um, action platformer. I can't remember what it's called. I'm sure uh, Blood Rain, you'll let me know. I forgot what it was called. Kind of weird mechanics in the game, but interesting. What else we got? I don't know what that is. Uh, Kamen Ninja. The Masked Ninja. Akagage. 9,900. Here we've got uh, uh, Crocodile Dundee for 14,000. I know it's not Crocodile Dundee, I just can't remember the name. Mad City. YY World, 12,000. Wow. It's a good game. Has a lot of. Uh, it's got Getsu Fumaden character. Very random characters. Athena, I think, from the Athena game. Uh, I can't remember. There's Boks de Utapau and there's Goemon. It's an interesting version of Goemon. King Kong. Is that the guy from Druaga? I'm not sure. And I'm not sure who that guy is. But Joy Mech Fight is also a great uh, Famicom game. 2700 is a little bit overpriced in my opinion. I think you can find it for cheaper than that elsewhere. There's Fire Emblem on this uh, Nintendo memory card thing that you could get reloaded with games at Lawson in a little kiosk. Lupin Sansei, never have seen the Super Famicom version of that. And there's Parodius Oshaveri, Jitsugyo Oshaveri Parodius, 5,500, pretty expensive. Etopolis Parodius Kyokujo, 27,000 or 2,700. Gunpei EX, the color version, 2,700. That might be a good deal. Sailor Moon, another story. Oh, what's this? 3,300. We've got some sort of SD Gundam game I've never seen. Battle Pinball. Oh, it's Battle Pinball. But Pinball, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. Gunhead for 4,900. This is an MSX software. Champion Barada Dash. 4,400. Captain Commando for the Mega Drive CD, I think? No, PlayStation. 20,000 for that. We've got Cotton for the... Um, the PC Engine, definitely. Uh, 
Uh, Dragon Knight Graffiti, 33,000, wow. Gun Spike for 15,000. Metal Slug on the Saturn for 9,900. And what is this? PC Engine God Angels. Cool. Gunhead and the Complete for 8,200. And Dodonpachi for about 10,000. Rounding up there. So, a lot of cool stuff there. Got some really cool things down here too. We got 13,000 for a Mega Drive. Here's a Saturn for 8,000 in the box. The Dreamcast in the box for 9,000. It's got the man. I think he passed away recently, last year, December. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, some N64 controllers. About 1,600 a piece. What else do we have? Some Super Famicom controllers. This little deal that goes with the GameCube, I think. Or maybe the GBA. Oh, here we got a GBA with the player on it for 15,000. Man, incredible prices here. The FES system here um, for 5,500. This Mega Drive here is pretty clean. It's very clean. It might be worth 13,000. We do have an N64 here for 5,500. And an N64 golden one for uh, about uh, 20,000. The nice blue one, look at that, it's got the expansion pack. It looks like it's missing the door though. It looks quite scruffy though for 17,000. Definitely the place I went to with uh, 4AM Laundry had a much better deal on these. The, the cherry one, the cherry clear red one. But that's that. Ooh, we got Gormon 2. That's always a good one for 3,300. Puzzle Bobble. Oh, wait, wait. We got Wee Yeez. Excuse me. Wee Yeez. 2,200. That seems like a good deal for that. Mm. Got Zelda. Majora's Mask in the big box here for 9,900. Craziness. And we've got the expansion pack set for 7,700. Comes with the Donkey Kong 64. And this one comes with the Rumble Pack for Star Fox, 4,400. Man, just a, a year or two ago, these were so cheap. Ooh, look at what we got. We got some good stuff up here. Sweet. King of Fighters 95 for the Neo Geo, 550 yen. You, can never, you can't beat that. I wish I had a Neo Geo CD. Here we got, uh, what is this? Another fighting game, I can't remember the name. Super Real Action Bout Fighters 96. Nice, 1100. These are good deals. Samurai Spirits for 1100. Samurai Spirits for 1100. Take off Sega software lineup. It's like a demo disc thing. Famicom 20th Anniversary Game Music DVD. What is this? This is cool. I've never come across this before. It's got game music, a DVD of the game music. That might be kind of cool. Wish it was a bit cheaper though. Oops, excuse me. We got Real Bout for the Neo Geo CD, 3300 for that. 850 for King of Fighters 94. That seems like a really good deal. I don't know. You guys let me know. Should I be buying this whole rack for Real Bout for 880? Very good deals. Real Bout for 860. 550 for Samurai Spirits. Tengai Makyo 2. Priest of Eden 1100 yen. A Dragon Slayer for PC Engine games here. Nothing in there, but what is it? Dungeon Explorer 2. Interesting. We've got uh, Gato Ball. I don't know how fun that is. Oh, we got Mitsubachi Gakuen. Two of them. Anything good here? Splash Lake. Korea Pro Yaku 89, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, Tang, what is that? 38,000 for this one. I didn't know this was. Right. Megami Tensei. 
I didn't know Megami Tensei was on the PC Engine. How about that? 38,000. That's. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. And quite a few uh, Super Famicom games in the box down here. Very cool. Sailor Moon R. Area 88. How much is that? 6,600 yen for Area 88. If I was going to pay that much, I'd probably prefer to get uh, Parodius or something like that. Sailor Moon R, though, that seems like a good deal for that one. This is the beat em up one, the fun one. There's another Sailor Moon. Is this the RPG one? I believe it is. 60, N64 games in here too. Final Fight, 2,200 yen. Dry Moon, Fire Pro Wrestling Wild Tracks, Romancing Saga, 880 yen. Rama One Half, NBA Pro Basketball, All Star Challenge. Let's see how much uh, Saint Ken Dance Sets is going for. Number two, Soft to Hillman Hiyake, so it's yellowed on the front. 1100 for that. It must have the, the manual because it doesn't say anything about not having the manual. So that's good. Pokemon Pilot Wings. We have 550 for Gold and Silver. Racing USA. Zelda Ocarina Ocarina of Time Hudson Mario Kart 64 Pretty cool stuff We get into Famicom games We got Rockman 4 Beautiful For 1650 Adam for 800 We've got Tarutoku, which is a fun little platformer. The second one has a little bit better graphics. We've got Super Robo Tyson for the DMG. Sanrio, a oh, ring. Ring for the Wonder Swan, Tetris. Donkey Kong Land. Pio Pio, Rockman X for 1100. That's not bad, I don't think, for Rockman X. Got Daikin no Gansan for 16. What else we got back there? Kabuto Quicks. And uh, what else? Uh, Fighting Phoenix. Jinsei Game. We got San Rio's, like. Oh, we got Bo. Sorry about that. Bokujo Monogatari. Alright, I got that the other day. We dropped this, so let's grab it. Where did it go? Uh oh. There it is. Rockman X fell. Can't let Rockman X fall. But yeah, thought it. What else? Rockman X A. Bunch of Rockman X A's. 550. Very cheap Rockman X A's. They used to be pretty cheap. They've gone up in price lately. But five. What was it? 880 for Rockman Exe, that's pretty good. Although I'm not a big Rockman Exe fan. I hear this game is pretty good though. This, uh, what is it? Something about the sun. I think you actually have to play it in the sun to do something. Like recharge your health or something, I'm not sure. But I think, I like that cool, that's a cool kind of a gimmick to that game. Mario Party Advance. Oh, we got the hip-hop song here. Oh, let's keep dropping these things. What is this? King of Sports Pro Wrestling. I already went through that rag. Alright. Lots of Famicom games. They got the Tomato Princess. Mario World. Oh, right and then since. Not my favorite uh, Super Famicom shooter by far. Cannot compare to many others. Sonic Drift. The Game Gear. S 
Godzilla. 4,400, look at that classic Godzilla. That's a beautiful cart. Our beautiful box, Famicom box. Hope Tono Ken, that's pretty cool. Not a good game though. We got uh, Cunio. 3,300. What do we got here? 1,100 for that one. Nothing fantastic. I missed this. The Sega Saturn Cyberbots. How much are they asking for? These. There's two copies, 6,600. Cyberbot's supposed to be a good one for the Saturn, so. It's very heavy. What is this? Doka Pokan O Koka 4. I don't know if that's like a educational no I don't think so it's like a board game type game I have no idea it's this Viru Gasto Viru Gasto don't know what it is Mahjong Matthew Land Makaijima Jajamaru Jajamaru 550 for these Patris Dragon Buster 2 Adams Fair Game Donkey Kong Jr. We got a million Gegege no Kitaros One of my favorite games it's Got a hundred of them back here PS Vita, PS3, PS2, King of Fighters, 2003, 16, 2001, 11, and 9, 16. But look at what we have here. It is a Virtual Boy. Virtual Boy. 33,000. I don't know what they, I'm, I'd imagine they probably go for that. But it is cool to see one. Kind of expensive though, but very cool. Either way. Xbox 360. We've got a family trainer here too. 8,800 for the family trainer. We VR we got a virtual on twin stick. Okay, I found some more cool stuff. Are you ready? I think I found this the missing link for the um, IFU unit for that uh, one that was in the display case over there. 5,500 for this uh, PC Engine. It says it won't play games. Uh, 5,500 for that. Um, also, look at that back there. They got a Pac-Man Puck Man. It says it's junk for 4,400 yen. You gotta love the shape of that thing. That thing is so cool looking. Little mini arcade from back in the day. That's pretty, pretty cool. It's a junk PS Vita for 8,000. There's an Osmo Pocket there for 13,000. And there's a Game Gear here. A couple of them. Look at this. We've got the Game Gear, the regular one, 7,700. And we've got a Ray Earth. That is a rare one. 11,000 for that. So, I, it says it works, but it, the buttons don't work, so that is definitely needs a cap replacement. But 11,000, that might be worth it for that one, that rare one there. It is caked in dust and grime, though, so it needs a good refurbishing. But the, but the white print on it looks in good shape. It just needs some, you know, 
need to be cleaned up a little bit. And there is a PS Vita there, Nintendo 3DS, and whoop bang, look at that. 88,000 for the DVD game player, Nintendo GameCube Panasonic DVD player. Look at that thing is beautiful. I've I don't know if I've ever seen one in person. It looks very clean, but 88,000, is that what they go for? I imagine they do or they wouldn't put it in there for that. But that is a beautiful machine right there. It looks so nice. It's all mirrored as a mirror finish. Look at it. It's glorious. Just glorious. Oh wait, it is not perfect at all. Look at that. It's like something leaked battery acid on the top of that. I would definitely haggle. Cause look at that, there's like something leaked on the top of that. What do you think? 50 bucks for that? Yeah, we'll ask them. All right. Good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Did we check out that King of Fighters down there? 3,300? I hear that's a pretty good one. Nests. Oh, we got uh, a Docomo smartphone. Looks like it has to do with the Dragon Quest, like a Dragon Quest version. I think I remember that vaguely. Okay, people often ask if there's a junk corner where you can test your gear at hard off. And it looks like there is. This is the first one I've actually noticed. So you got some power cables and AV cables. You just plug it in there and test stuff out. So that's pretty cool. Junk corner at the hard off. Okay, and you know how Scruffy rolls. We roll in the junk is how we roll. So look at all this glorious junk. There's just a lot of stuff to dig through here. So much cool stuff. First off, first off, we got these Wii's and things here, but look at that. We got a Toshiba Miscom 100 video computer. 38,500 yen, and that is not cheap. I've never seen one of those before, but it looks awesomely retro. Uh, you guys can tell me what it's all about. Uh, that is pretty cool. Haven't seen one of those before, but that's really expensive too. So we're gonna move on. We see this, this beautiful, beautiful thing here. It uh, says Neo Geo, so that means it's awesome. Okay, Neo Geo, CD, almost 20,000 yen. And it is stacked in the back with the junk because they have nowhere else to put it, I imagine. Um, somebody chewed on that corner of the box, but what do you guys think? Is it worth it? It doesn't get any power. And it doesn't read discs. Well, it wouldn't if it didn't read power. No manual. I think they're a little bit overpricing it, but you guys can tell me. Check the eBay listing. What's it say? All right. Those things were cool. But uh, there's a lot of cool stuff back here. We've got a slim PS2 for 3300 junk. A Super Famicom, an S10. That is a very early revision. It's very heavy. Early revisions tend to be heavy. Okay, cool. Um, PlayStation controller and everything. Two thousand seven hundred. Not a bad price, I guess. We with everything twenty two hundred. I spy a yellowed. Dreamcast for 2,200 yen. Just says it gets power, it doesn't say anything about its condition, but man are Dreamcast heavy. 2,200, that is quite yellowed. 
beneath it sits a Sega Saturn. And it has a 3,300 yen price tag on it. Aha. And we've got another junk Sony PlayStation 2 Slim for 2,200. Let's stack it over there for them. Some kind. All right, Sega Saturn, 5,500 yen. It is the black version, or the gray version, excuse me. It's got the controller, some AV cables. Fairly complete. We got some Famicoms. Some, this is my haven here. We got Famicoms. This is the one that is harder to remove the power board because it has an FF on it. That means it's like welded there. All right, that's that. And we have a, a much scruffier one in yellowed. And this one is also has the same metal welded piece. It's not welded, it's just difficult to get off. But 1100 for that. And another Famicom for 1650. These are pretty expensive for being in the junk at hard off. I mean, you can even find cheaper uh, Famicoms like in Akihabara, I want to say, sometimes. <clears throat> Look at this retro arcade here. It's clear black plastic. 2200. There's another spammy come back here, hiding. 3300. It comes with the manual. It comes with the manual. That's cool. I wonder if the manual matches up. Oh, and this one has been modded. Look at that. They even drilled a nice little hole in the bottom there. So this one is modded. I wonder if it says anything about being modded. It says, Deiryok cable kaizen saretemasu. Yes, it has been improved with a AV cable. <laughs> but it has a lots of noise. A boon noise. Yeah, they probably didn't do a good job of modding it. Okay. Needs to come with. That's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, GameCube. 1650. Six... 1600 yen and another Super Famicom. It says Video 2. Huh. Earlier Famicom, definitely. Alright. Cool, cool junk. Lots of cool junk. And we come down, we've got games and stuff. Games and stuff. Games and stuff. What is this? Ah, oh, Super Famicom cart holder things. Those are kind of awesome to put like some of your more rare games in. Might be cool to have one of these. 300 yen. 300 yen. Interesting. Alright, what else we got? Lots of games in there. We got Famicom games. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What do we got? Tenokoi for Tenokoi 2. And this is for, I forgot what it does for the PC Engine. Is it corroded? Oh, it's corroded. It's corroded. I can't remember what the Tenokoi does. What does it do? Let me know down in the comments. It is 1100 yen. It's got like a burnt something. It might be worth, I don't know if it's worth uh, refurbing. Might be a fun project. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments. Oh, yes. Look at this. 1100 for a five player. PC Engine extension thingy, my Bob. That's awesome. Got a bunch of controllers in here. Oops, excuse me. All right, what is this? This doesn't look nice. Oh, we got a blue controller, which looks like it's in fair condition. The sticks aren't even all that bad. Huh. How much, how much, how much? Doesn't even have a price on it. Four controllers for decent prices. This stick is a little bit loose. Okay. This one is very loose. Got a GameCube controller in there. 
$16.50 for being in the trunk. I don't like that price. This one's mangled, but those can be replaced. Well, you never know when you need an extra GameCube controller. Got a Namco gun for the PlayStation. Now it's time to head back home and check out what we picked up. Did I trick you again? I couldn't pass up on this deal. I mean, 1,100 yen for this TMNT 2 back from the sewers as it's known in North America. This game is a huge graphical improvement from the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game on the Game Boy. Sprites are much bigger and the level backgrounds are also much more pleasing to the eye. You can never go wrong with the turtles. They're always a good time. Well, except for that first game on the NES. Not that I didn't have it as a kid, but it was tough as nails. I think most of you would agree with me. Well, this one was much more fun to play than that one. You get to choose one of the four turtles to play with at a time, and four tries and unlimited continues, which is pretty nice. I've been putting some time into this one, but as you can see, I'm not quite to the end of the game yet. Either way, I was very happy to add this one to the Game Boy Collection. Did you enjoy this hunt at Matsudo Kogasaki Hardoff? What did you think of my pickup? If you're interested in helping out the channel, please consider becoming a scruffy looking Nerf Herder crew member. You get exclusive perks and your name goes into the hat for future retro game giveaways. My four year anniversary celebration livestream giveaway will be happening real soon. So stay tuned for that. If you can't become a member, it's all good. Just make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend because it's free and it really helps support the channel. Thanks for hanging out with me for another Retro Game Hunts in Japan episode. I think there will be another Game Boy related modding video coming real soon. And of course, more hunts to come. Stay safe, but above all, stay scruffy looking. Who's scruffy looking? Just take one quick look through the DMG games again. I didn't really check that hard. Got Kirby 2 pinball game there. Never seen that before. It's pretty cool though. Kirby 2, got Dragon Monster, something or other. More Metabot, Kabuto. Is that another Metarot games? Game Boy Gallery, Drymon, Go, Gunpei for the Wonder Swan. Sorry, you guys probably couldn't see any of that. There is that uh, that X game that we saw earlier. But uh, got Tetris, Life. I think I went through that one. Ultraman, Leo Pio. Turtles 2. What? Turtles 2 for 1100 yen? Uh, that might have to go in my in my basket, actually. So, let's do that. Any, any other secret ones hiding back here? Monopoly. City game. Mono, Bokujo Monogatari. Original one. That one I don't have. 